We started working with Shombit many years back and you know just as an overview, he, he's extraordinarily brilliant but he's extraordinarily taxing when you work with him. Uh, so it's quite an experience in terms of the processes you go through with it. Shombit knows that I just cannot resist jalebis and you know we, we go back many many years into that and also the fact that he invited me I just couldn't say no. As the title of this book suggests and says all stakeholders can enjoy a bite of this book and uh, I did not want to miss my piece of it. This particular book uh, covers a variety of subjects using jalebi as a metaphor. He takes you through social, cultural and historical perspectives. He has interesting anecdotes to tell. He discovered after finally getting his first salary of 500 francs in France that the jalebi he bought in Paris for 15 francs tasted very different from what he had eaten in Kolkata. He was disappointed but he also learned that no two individuals and no two cultures and no two ways uh, across the world to do a particular thing are the same. The jalebi changes not only in shape, uh, it changes in form, it changes in sweetness, it changes in terms of what you have put into it in terms of slanting its taste. And this is very relevant when you work across different cultures in different parts of the world. The changes are so important to be sensitive and localized to those cultures. I agree with Shombit about the importance of being uncomfortable. Comfort is probably the most strong enemy of growth and of change. Discomfort is a constant reminder to organizations that past achievement is not something which justifies future achievement and future success. Citing the paintings of Van Gogh, music and changes in technology, Shomit shows how discomfort inspired innovations across centuries and across history. Shomit uh, provokes you in the book, uh, challenges your mind and he can suddenly jump at you when your guards are down. He looks at the world differently than most of us do and I've never met somebody, quite frankly, who can think as laterally as he can think.